Hello and welcome to Science Made Fun. Hi, I'm Colin. And I'm Emily. Sit back and hold on tight. We're about to blast off into outer space. Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome aboard. Join us as we travel 1,350 million kilometres past Mars and Jupiter to the planet Saturn. Named after the Roman god of agriculture, Saturn is the furthest planet that can be seen with the naked eye. Whilst we're on our way, Colin is going to tell us a bit more about the sixth planet from the Sun. Humans have known that Saturn exists since ancient times. In fact, the Roman Emperor Constantine named Saturday after the planet in 321 AD. It's actually the second largest planet in the solar system and has a mass of nearly 100 Earths. Saturn is so far away that it would take us 175 years to get there in a jumbo jet. Luckily, we have a super fast spaceship. As we arrive, the first thing that strikes us is the beautiful and intricate ring system. Galileo first noticed the rings of Saturn in 1610 with his telescope. Although he didn't know what they were, he called them ears. Ears? Why did he call them ears? Well, if you think about it, Colin, if you look at the planet, it looks like a face with two ears either side. It was the Dutch astronomer Christian Huygens who was the first person to suggest that Saturn might be surrounded by a ring. However, we now know that it's not a single ring, but lots of rings with gaps in between. There are seven main rings, given letters A to G, in order of their discovery. The rings are made up of chunks of ice and rock from as small as a speck of dust to as big as a car. Some scientists believe that the rings could be the leftover parts of a moon that was ripped apart by the planet's gravity. You know, it's funny you should mention moons, Colin, because Saturn has more moons than any other planet in the solar system. 2006, the number was up to 56. Five of the moons, which are called Shepherd moons, actually orbit Saturn as part of the ring system. Saturn's moon Titan is not only the second largest moon in the solar system, but the only one to have a dense atmosphere. In 2004, both Saturn and Titan were investigated by the Cassini-Huygens spacecraft. This was actually launched in 1997, meaning that it took seven years to get there. Now, as we leave Saturn and fly home, I want to tell you about one of my favourite facts in the whole of science. Saturn is the only planet in the solar system with a density that's less than water. It actually means that if you could find a bath big enough, and it would have to be 750 times bigger than the Earth, then Saturn would actually float in it. Now that's fun. That's all for today. Until next time, remember, science, science is fun. fun.